Yo, Bulls fans, we are back, and today we're going to be talking about the Bulls' fourth Summer League game, and it looks like the Bulls' Summer League run is over, and they finished Summer League with a 2-2 two two record, and I really think there's a lot of young stars that really shined in this Summer League, and we're going to talk about the main guy that the Bulls definitely need to sign and give a two-way contract, or even maybe a little roster spot, you never know. Uh, so, we're going to be talking about Javon Freeman Liberty, leads the Bulls once again, and has shown why the Bulls need to keep him in the system. The Bulls can't lose another young star. You know, they've given up different young stars that have developed to be very good, very, very good players. And they can't do this with Javon Freeman Liberty. So, right now, the Summer League has ended. Their Summer League has ended. And the Bulls really need to work to get him a contract and get him on the roster or a two-way contract to keep him in the system. They need to keep him in the system. Because he could develop to be a very good, very good point guard. He's six four, pretty tall for his for his position, and I think he could develop to be really good. So this game, he had eighteen points, three rebounds, two assists, one block, doing it all on the court, leading the Bulls like he's done this whole uh, summer league. And I give him an A plus for this whole for this whole summer league. I mean, he balled up last year. He didn't really look that great. This year, he looked amazing. He put in that work and really showed everyone what he could do. But Let's talk about a little bit about all the other players. Julian Phillips this game, 12 points, 2 rebounds, 1 steals, 1 block. And I think he played really good. He honestly looks really good out there. I think AK got a steal in this draft. And I can't wait to see what he can develop. People, a lot of people underestimated his jump shot. And it's looking really nice. And I honestly can't wait to see how he develops and what he looks like. We got Jalen Terry, you know, up and down, up and down play. 12 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. He's just not the... Dan Terry just isn't the shooter or the scorer that the Bulls that Bulls fans really want him to be. He's more of a facilitator and a passer. And, you know, we kind of have to live with that. We have to live to see him develop, live to see him work towards being a better shooter, and kind of work to seeing him develop. That's what we have to do. So a guy that I really want to talk about that's really hasn't been doing, like, dominating, but he's shown that what he can do, Adama Sanago. 15 minutes played this game, 8 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists. Dominated on the glass, and four of those rebounds were offensive boards, so he can provide on the offens offensive end. And I could see him being a backup big in the future if we could, if we can really develop him and use the G League as a de developmental system. And the last guy I'm going to be talking about, Nate Darling. 11 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, and 1 block. Nate Darling deserves to be on the G League team, the Windy City Bulls, and he's shown that by his defense and how he can score and shoot the ball. And... I think he's he can be an elite role player by, b with his jump shot and his three-point shooting. But we're going to talk about a little, about, little bit about the last 20 seconds of the game. Jonte Porter missed two big free throws. And I think that's probably why we lost. Because within the last 20 seconds, we got three to four offensive rebounds and couldn't hit a shot. And the Bulls got a lot of offensive rebounds. And a lot of players showed flashes, but there were a lot of good players shining. And Dalen Terry really showed his defensive passing. Nate Darling showed his shooting. Adama Sanago showed how, can, how he can dominate on the glass. Javon Freeman Liberty showed all aspects of his game and what he could do on the court. And Dalen Terry, you know, the, even though the shooting wasn't there, he really showed a lot of his uh, his passing is, and his defense. But Julian Phillips, you know, he showed how he can rebound on the off offensive end and the defensive end, how he can play defense, and how he can actually shoot the ball and he's everyone thought he couldn't but he's shown that he could shoot the ball and i'm i have a lot of hopes for him he has a lot of upside and i can't wait to watch him play but that's gonna be all for this one guys let me know what you guys thought about the game make sure you hit that sub button for more bulls content and see rebels nation